It really doesn't matter where you live, your occupation, or the people you're with. There is no doubt that you will face some degree of stress. So what can be done to increase your resilience and tolerance to stress? What's up, guys? Lucas here, the founder of Ergogenic Health. And my mission is to bring you guys the most cutting-edge health information that you'll struggle to find on Google. So please be sure to like this video, hit that bell button to subscribe, and then also leave a comment or question in this video as I do get a lot of emails and would like to address people's questions in the comment section below. So today, what we're going to focus on is one of my all-time favorite synthetic adaptogens known as bromantane. It also goes by the name as Ladastin. Um, so what I'm going to do is demonstrate how this um, particular compound or nootropic can improve one's tolerance to stress and counteract the effects of social defeat stress. So obviously this is not medical advice. All I'm doing is presenting um, relevant cl clinical studies and, and research. So basically this study is looking at the effects of the novel anti-asthenic drug, Ladastin, otherwise known as Bromantane, on behavior and T-cell subsets alterations in a social defeat animal model of depression. Now, just before we get stuck into this particular study, let's first of all define social defeat stress and this particular model that they use um, to evaluate the impacts of stress on um, mood and behavior. So social defeat stress is experimentally initiated when a male rodent is introduced into the home cage of an older, aggressive, dominant male. Um, repeated exposure to this social defeat stress causes a robust depression-like phenotype. So maybe a good example of this would be, um, you know, uh, you're showing up to work every day and your boss is being extremely abusive or um, aggressive towards you. Unfortunately, this will lead to uh, down regulation of various enzymes in the brain. And now we know that um, there are particular pathways that, are get, that get disrupted from this. Um, and that is where this particular compound, um, bromantane, can counteract the negative effects of stress. So what they, the aim of the study was basically to investigate the effects of this, of bromantane on behavioral patterns and effects on the immune, immune cells as well. This is really fascinating. Um, speaking of immune function, we know that stress can cause dis disruptions in immune function. Um, so unfortunately, after 25 days of social defeat stress, these mice developed um, a depressive-like phenotype. So <clears throat> I've spoken about bromantane on my channel before. You guys know how much I'm a fan of this particular nootropic. And if you're wanting to know where to purchase bromantane, I have a link to it in the video description. Um, but first of all, let's dive into what they mentioned here is that um, they're starting to realize that dopamine plays a key role in depression and the action of antidepressants. In particular, it's postulated that depression was due to an imbalance and more specifically to a decrease in extracellular dopamine levels. Um, that's really important to note. Now, what's key to understand is that bromantane not only will increase dopamine, but it causes a rapid and long lasting increase in tyrosine hydroxylase mRNA, which is the genetic expression in the ventral tegmental area and um, and in the hypothalamus as well. So to put that very simply, tyrosine hydroxylase is the enzyme that converts the tyrosine that we eat uh, in our food into L-dopa and then eventually into dopamine. So we get a sub, uh, a net increase in total dopamine synthesis in various brain regions. Um, so that's part of the mechanism by which 
uh, bromantane exerts an antidepressant effect and also counteracts the, the negative effects of social defeat stress, which is, I mean, I can relate to this. I was in a part-time job once and, um, you know, had a, a boss that was absolutely abusive, micromanaging and just making me feel like absolute dog shit. <laughs> um, and that wasn't so good. So, you know, that led to disruptions in my mood state and it made me feel flat, deflated, you know, not confident. Um, so if only I knew about this particular nootropic back then, I probably would have been able to push through it. I ended up quitting. Anyway, I'm sidetracking. Um, so you can sort of see here how uh, chronic social defeat stress for 30 days leads to defeat-induced social avoidance and depression in mice and that the administration of this anti-asthenic drug, bromantine, for five days prevented the expression of, of avoidance behaviors in response to social defeat stress. What's really interesting is, is that um, bromantane also prevented the um, uh, weight loss in the thymus and also reserved um, T lymphocyte production, which is you know an important uh, immune marker. So that's part of its adaptogenic effects. This is really what makes it a true synthetic adaptogen. You know, I've spoken about ginseng, which also would likely share some of these similar um, effects as well. <clears throat> so found this super, super fascinating. It's another tool that we can use to um, offset the negative effects of stress. Um, I cover way more of these advanced, uh, you know, compounds and nootropics in my nootropics masterclass you'll see a link to that in the video description i'm actually running a discount at the moment you can use the code youtube 20 to dive deeper into a lot more of these compounds and really take control of your health and um, physiology so guys thanks for tuning into this video um, you check out my website check out uh, my podcast the boost your biology podcast uh, my Instagram at ergogenic underscore health. And thanks so much for tuning in, guys. I hope this information will serve you well. Um, and thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys soon.